Answers of an Alien from Andromeda, Video 132, April 6, 2015. Mythy, if we are mandated to take vaccinations by law or if vaccinations are, unwillingly, introduced into us, how do we avoid detection if we avoid such vaccinations? They will check us by microwaves. You have to unite against these abuses. If the vast majority refuse to take the vaccine said forcefully, they cannot do anything, companies will not have all the staff left because of vaccination campaign. You guys have to understand that the government is there to serve the people and not to enforce solutions forced by corrupt business leaders. When you become aware that the people united is who really rules, your elites will be defeated by the roots. Only the people can claim a more just society for himself, making the most of the claims are always attended by who's there only and solely to meet those needs and longings. A society reaches its maturity when their leaders are there only in order to balance the resources and ensure the welfare of all his people. What is not so is not a government but is an organized gang. Mythy, some wondered about that. It seems the entire universe is already charted or explored, and all stored in huge databases. Is there actually still anything to discover? Are there even any systems left that are not claimed yet by anyone? Of course it is, our universe is new, four-fifths of it is still unexplored. Much still exists to be known and seated in this vast universe of which we are part. Many non-humanoid races can be dominant in many systems, and this may pose difficulties in humanoid settlements in these regions. Our network of galactic communities covers only one-eighth of the universe already explored, therefore means that there is still much to be done, so, welcome to our task force. Mythy, a NASA spacecraft orbiting the Red Planet has detected a mysterious aurora that reaches deep into the Martian atmosphere, could you talk about it? The northern lights are the result of refraction of solar particle emissions on your atmosphere at the point of concentration of closing lines of force of the magnetic field, well, Mars is gaining an atmospheric layer increasingly thick, and this will cause the same phenomenon there as well from now on. Mythy. CG could only intervene if nuclear weapons were used? But how is starving Africans and Asians not a form of genocide? I thought they could intervene if genocide was implemented no matter the weapon. See, the intervention policy exists for all members of the CGs, but society has officially become part as level 1. This is to happen to the Earth but you guys have to be strong to survive with your governments until the order to intervene is given. You will have to prove your viability as a race, and all who not abide in the planet are being awaited in their appropriate places to continue development. Sometimes it's hard for you guys to digest the idea that all functions to suit the stage of development to appropriate locations, and this has to happen naturally namely through reincarnation system. Mythy, why is there no real pictures of Earth? I can only find composites of Earth no real pictures. Is it flat? You see, the photos taken by the missions that were to your moon are in the archives of your NASA, and were taken well beyond the Van Allen belt with little resolution. Other more modern rigs have some higher resolution photos also taken after the belt, but for some reason are not released for y'all. You have no pictures of Earth because they cannot be at a sufficient distance to take pictures of her hole, would have to take the cameras to the Van Allen belt to have angle and it is impossible at this time. As the Earth is flat, sometimes confuses me with your middle age in the current time. How in good conscience can anyone imagine the flat Earth? In the universe are all round, because they are bodies formed by rotational movement while still at high temperatures. The gravity operates in all directions output from the center point of the rotating bodies in this way naturally spheres. Examine one drop of water falling, a bubble floating, try to make them flat, if you guys get the prowess, we can go back to talk about this quaint theory. Mythy, the Ark of the Covenant according to the New Testament letter to the Hebrews, the Ark also contain Aaron's rod, a jar of manna, and the first Torah scroll as written by Moses. Is it true? Well, the concept of an Ark of the Covenant is purely symbolic. Many different things happened in your antiquity, 
and these things have become legends. Some social groups received help of the gods, as machines to remove air humidity generating water, machines that produced a protein feed for survival in some situations, and conduct guidelines to be followed if they wanted to survive those times. These gifts were always very well kept, and were the subject of disputes and over time were destroyed. Literary novels adopted by your religions created the image of the Ark, to be inculcated in the minds of followers as a relic of God, a divine and powerful object. One thing I can say to you all, it's just a concept, and a story. Mythy, according to pictures in infrared, where they appear small orbs, of various diameters, circling the environment that has been detected in several places, by various people, what could you tell us about them? I think some are ready to learn more. In fact, these plasma orbs are everywhere, they multiply according to the need of the humanoids that are going through this process of transition. They are like the red blood cells from your blood, leading oxygen to the organs. For orbs, they are programmed to counter the physical discrepancies or chemical of humanoid bodies of third dimension, focusing more on those who have more problems to be solved. Some may see them, and others cannot. With current technology, depending on the lighting, they can be captured with cameras as they respond to the frequency in the infrared range. People who received implants when small, raised by their mother's races attract a larger amount in attendance of these plasmids orbs, that even transmit information about the particular body to the database of your mother's race. Some very sensitive people feel the corrective power of injections, that may be getting in the form of small shocks. When you meditate or sleep, is when they manifest with greater intensity, so when the monks say they are in a state, Zen, is when they are surrounded by orbs plasmids, receiving the energy of the universal forces. The more you know the more you learn. In the atmosphere there are no gas, vapor and dust only, there are other elements in humanoid colonies you will know in time. The most sensitive can see these orbs in some situations may even concentrate and send information to their tutors through them. Often your medicine has no explanation for cases of survival in accidents, that theoretically should be dead, but they are not aware of these other means that can be grouped to protect certain people, keeping the vital points in a temporary suspension and protected from succumbing ahead of schedule for them. Some who are dedicated to develop your techniques of meditation and concentration, can help others less fortunate to receive more assistance these plasmids orbs, and verify the significant improvement of these people, such as Reiki among dozens of other techniques that ultimately lead to the same state concentration of energy. When you put your hand on the head of a patient, and focus on your willingness to help that person, would be amazed at the amount of plasmids orbs that can rally around that person. It is only for this reason that in places where many people come together, and focus on trying to cure a person, may happen that your religions call mistakenly miracles, because faith and good intentions of that group of people can move thousands of plasmids orbs, and direct to the one in focus, which will be helped even without his or enough lighting to gather orbs needed for his recovery. Mythy, lots of questions about who is God and how did he look, or God is pure space blue energy? See, the concept of an omnipotent God, is a very vague concept. God exists in various stages of universal development, as a hierarchy of gods, that creates and guides in each of these steps. God that matters to the level of development of a race, is one that cares about their offspring in that stage of development, and uses of his senior disciples to assist in the mission to increase, and multiply you. Some philosophical points about it are difficult for me to exemplify you guys, for your concepts are still very heterogenic. You see, you have to focus on the divine that is in the right distance to listen you guys, at the time of development that you guys are going through. Evolution is like an inverted family tree, you can only advise with your grandparents, and parents, passing this knowledge on to your children, and grandchildren who will form the societies that will make room for you guys, later on. The more you develop more will be on track, to the summit of divine pyramid that formed it all, so do not worry about God, all that we are experiencing is part of it. The knowledge, this yes, it is like a family tree. Each new information that you or a society assimilates, generates new branches that will develop the new knowledge acquired. 
it never stops, on the contrary, increases exponentially. Be forewarned about the changes, both socially and changes imposed by the nature of the planet. The more prepared may face situations with more awareness, and assist other groups to organize more appropriately. Everyone stay well.